السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله نعم نيم ستيت اند كويشن بليز وين وي تيكن ا شاور كان وي ميك ا ودو ويذ يو نو ويزاوت نوت كوفرين يور بادي without covering your body okay yeah uh, i see what yeah. you mean. okay yeah. uh, uh, our sister is asking when you take a shower uh, basically uh, is that counted as wudu or you're asking yeah. whether you can take uh, m- make your wudu yeah, while you are in the shower while you yeah. while you are not wearing clothes it is my yes i do i think i'm trying to make sense out of it inshallah uh, let's do this uh, first of all i, I really want to cover this from two issue, from two angles because i know uh, the, there are other questions which i received by email uh, about this issue can the shower be counted as wudu yes provided that you had the intention before the shower that this is ghusl not just to clean up ghusl similar to ghusl al janaba and you have that intention this is one and you make sure that the water reaches all your body a lot of the jurists they say this is sufficient as wudu provided that you're not going to break that wudu until you put your clothes on until you pray now the other end of this uh, which is uh, ideally and preferred and highly recommended that you do the ghusl according to the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and how this is done first of all you have the intention that this is ghusl this is a ritual bath this is not just a clean up bath it's called a ritual bath that's in your heart you don't pronounce it the intention is not to be pronounced then you wash your private part with your left hand and then you wash your hand and then you make wudu like you do for the salah three times, three times, wash your face, three times, three times, right hand, three, till the elbow, left hand, three till the elbow, head, one time, ear, one time, and you leave the feet. Don't bother about the feet. Then you wash your head, use head, uh, shoulder and all that stuff as many times as you want, you know, wash, clean, do as much as you want. But at the end, you make sure that you take three handful. One, two, three. This way you have taken care of this part. Then you wash your right side, front and back, all the way down. Now you make sure that you go through your toes and you wash your feet. That is the right side. Then you go to the left side. The same exact thing, front and back, and you also go through your toes and you make sure that you wash your feet as well. This way you have really done your ghusl according to the sunnah and you do not have to make wudu afterwards. In either case, even the first scenario, you do not have to. The jurists say as long as the water reaches all the body, provided that you had the intention beforehand, then this is considered to be also ghusl and wudu at the same time. The intention that this is a ritual bath, not just a clean up bath. Now, you could make wudu while you're naked. I mean, nobody said you can't. You can make wudu while you're naked. Hopefully, we answered your question, sister. Jazakallah khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum.